So I see you uh, you booked your honeymoon. Yes, I have spent more money. Yes. <laughs> on the wedding. Uh, although, to be fair, Lizzie's um, uh, parents are being kind enough to kind of pay for half mm. of the uh, honeymoon. Okay. And they're going to reimburse us for the dress as well, which I quite appreciate a lot. Cool. So, yeah. We're going to Ibiza. Yeah. <laughs> Way. Hey, we're going to Ibiza. <laughs> yeah, we're going to Back have a party to the island. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's been. I oh, know. I think I'm thinking that. about Jamaica. Sorry. No, it doesn't the original the island. One. Yeah, does oh, it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, Liz has been finger, finger boys. boys. Liz has been singing that for the last week or so. Oh, and she posted a link to the video on a, <laughs> our Facebook timeline after we booked it. I missed that. Yeah. So. uh Yeah, and we're looking forward to it. It's a nice family <clears> resort. <throat> it's uh, yeah. You're not going to like heaven or pasha heaven no that's the uh, no i think heaven is is it still there i don't know pasha, pasha and yeah, yeah. manumission yeah <laughs> take us that take chloe to hedonism <laughs> <laughs> the awkward <laughs> yeah she uh, <laughs> so it's not it's not you know clubbing. it's not like the hawaiian islands it's not sort of that sort it's a nice family it's a family moon so mm. it, you know we're taking chloe so it's got to be like a family resort but by all accounts, this one is a tame family resort. There's lots for kids to do, mm. but it's not like kids everywhere. Yeah. And it's a, a nicer hotel than we would normally stay in if we were going to book a hotel. <laughs> mm. Book a ho- holiday, sorry. So we're spending a little bit more than we normally would, but it's a honeymoon. It's your so honeymoon. You've got to, really. Yeah, exactly. You? If I'll, you if you didn't, you'd be in trouble. <laughs> well, yeah, I would be in lots of trouble. So, no, we're looking forward to it. It'll be very nice. We're flying out. The, we're getting married the Saturday. We're flying out on the Monday for like ten or eleven nights. Mm. So, mm. it's good. Will there be partying involved? No, 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 um, no helium balloons or anything no, like that. No, because actually, there's only a limited amount of time now. We shouldn't be using helium balloons. No, is something I've learned this week. Okay, um, yeah. Even though helium is the second most uh, abundant gas, it's a naturally occurring gas in it? the universe. In the universe, yeah, um, it's running out on Earth. Really? Mm, because it is the only element that is able to escape Earth's gravity. That makes sense. It disappears out sense, into yeah. um, out into space. Which is why it's so abundant in the universe. Yeah, because it's lighter than air, thinner mm. than air, so it will pass through it and it will rise above mm. it, wouldn't it? Yeah, so um, scientists... It's the bigger man, it rises above <laughs> it. <laughs> scientists are getting up in arms about it because they need it for stuff like MRI, uh, MRI machines. Um, really? Yep. Yeah, oh. that is the gas that is used in MRI scanners because it has a boiling point of... Something. Minus minus two hundred and sixty nine degrees C. Oh, okay. So they need that to cool down the magnet so it doesn't yeah. overheat and blow up. Wow. <clears throat> Stop working. And in fact, the the um the Large Hadron Collider yes in Italy uh, uses one hundred and twenty tons of liquid helium. What to keep that cool? So that's a lot of helium. I suppose as well, Bearing because mind it's so helium's... far underground as well, so yeah. it gets a lot hotter anyway, yeah. so you have to cool it with helium. Look at you writing for technology blogs and educating us all. I know, I know. It's good. <laughs> so uh, scientists are saying that, yeah, we shouldn't be using them in balloons anymore no. because it's a bit frivolous. Yeah. Mm. Also, those balloons fly away, and then they pop, and then they land in the ocean, and then birds eat them, and then they die. Yeah, it's not good. No. <laughs> Who would have there such a lot evil at children's parties? <laughs> such evil. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah, you, you thought it was just clowns, and you but thought, no. And you thought phobia of balloons was ridiculous yeah, and unfounded. Yeah. yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> the evil helium balloons in their rubber. I mean, yeah, but they're, they're made from rubber anyway, so that's a non-renewable <clears throat> because it's plastic, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It adds to that massive And then you've got the of... non-renewable energy. Or It's just it's not that it's not renewable. It's a naturally occurring gas, but because it's so like it's... Kind of as soon as it escapes into the atmosphere, it goes away. Mm. And you can't capture it. That's it. Wow. Mm. Who knew? And there was a law passed in America that all their helium reserves had to be used up by this year. Really? Yeah, because it was it, the price of helium became so cheap that it wasn't worth renewing. Is it quite a combustible or not? I don't know if it's something to do with danger. Being quite dangerous, they got too much in storage. I don't know. That I don't know. So they've got to use up all their helium storage and they've got to stop using water in California. Yeah. Because they're having a drought, aren't they? Yes, that's true. It's all stolen water anyway they use, isn't well, it? Yeah, it's all taken from somewhere else. Yeah. Being in a desert and all that. So mm. helium, Christ. There you go. 
Stop sp- using helium balloons, people. What can you use? There are other gases, I suppose, that you can use. Not ones that make balloons float, I don't, don't think. To float. They all float. Mm. Yeah, but not like... that. Okay, stop... So stop said Pennywise. Pop- stop, <laughs> <laughs> stop popping them and make your voice sound funny. Because you can die from that, apparently. You've got to do it a lot. Think, yeah. <laughs> You've got to do it a lot. I remember when I was um, younger and I got... Uh, uh, my inheritance, <clears throat> some inheritance money. One of the things I did was brought a radio-controlled UFO. Yes, you did. Um, which you had to fill with helium. So I brought a helium canister, a mm. miniature helium canister yeah. for parties. And on the way home, we pretty much used up all of the helium. Yeah, I was going to say, how car. much managed to get into the? <laughs> Not a lot. We used it up in the car on the way home, phoning the people in the other car, going helium. <laughs> yeah, you're part of the problem. Stuff you do. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we had um, I mean, yeah Robbie emailed us about the book club as well yeah as we're going to start we're gonna um, s- actually a couple of weeks is it yeah this is another thing where it's going to get a yeah bit two weeks time we're going to be recorded well we're going to put out the episode so yes. we need to do it this week we need to read it this week we need so. to read this week so we have to decide amongst us what we're going to read we'll let you know on next week's episode what to read yeah yeah and then the episode will come out the week after yeah so if you're listening to this like on Sunday or Monday or something like that, you still have a chance to vote for what we should be, whether we whether we should carry on with the dummy stories or whether we yeah. go on to something else. Because the thing is, we've had quite a lot of um, suggestions. suggestions, but none of them have been um, that there hasn't been one that's been mentioned the most. No, I mean uh, <clears throat> Andrew from Toulouse Crew said the BFG A S O U E. What's that? The bad beginning. I don't, I don't know. know. My teacher is an alien, all my friends are dead, or some sort of choose-your-own-adventure. I know Robbie mm. suggested... Where is it? He's here. It's the horror series? Uh, horror yeah. stories? Oh, more, more scary, scary stories. stories. Or scary stories. Or scary stories three. Yeah. Um. So one of those. I mean, if you like that idea, choose one of those. Let us know. Either Sunday the 10th or Monday the 11th because yeah. we need we us Tom and I need yeah. to read it by next week yeah or we carry on with the Night of the Living Dummy Night of the Living trilogy. Dummy maybe we'll go for number two yeah I mean you can start that this week so then you can let us know before next Sunday yeah what you thought of it and we can yeah, record yeah that's true. so maybe it is a good idea yeah. just to say we're going to do that okay yeah we're going to do Night of the Living Dummy <laughs> 2 fuck it it's decided so yeah read it this week let us know what you thought and we'll talk about it on the episode next week mm. as well as reading the proper emails from everyone yes uh, what else was there uh, general election do we want to do that no I'm we're gonna... fucked yeah <laughs> we're going to have no more NHS enough we're... said they're going to try and take us out of the EU which is all a mistake I, I assume mm. you, did, you didn't vote for them either. <laughs> no. No, I didn't. Actually, I used the vote for policies.org.uk website and I was very surprised by my result. Mm. It wasn't UKIP. I tried to give that a go, um, but I... Lots but of I, reading. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't vote I've been for too busy in the last couple say, of weeks. I think but... I only agreed with one of their policies mm. and it was probably one of the ones where I was like, I don't really care, I'll choose that one, that sounds all right. But yeah, yeah. I didn't get the result I expected. Uh, no, so, no one got the result they expected. Oh, no, I mean, I meant on the vote for policies. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> we didn't get the result we expected in the election. There's lots of protests in London. Mm. I don't know if it's going to last five years. No. This uh, parliament. No, I doubt it. <laughs> Not if uh, the Conservatives actually care about the country. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> what, apart from themselves. Yeah. <laughs> um, no church this week episode 82 they had put an oswald yeah apparently so who we he didn't travel over here really like he's no. not quite as prevalent <clears throat> over here as he is in the u.s i mean no so it is a massive get for them he's got like oh of two course and a half yeah absolutely Twitter followers he's a in the geek community especially he's massive yeah he wrote books he he's a comedian i haven't listened to it yet because everyone produced over two hour podcasts this week oh, so i'm they? still catching up on, oh okay like, on, on loads so. uh, they released it friday I was at work. Mm. I couldn't download it. The Wi-Fi is fucking about at work. So I only listened to half of it yesterday. Mm. And it's fun. It's nice. It's Because he grew up in the same area as them. So they're kind of oh, reminiscing right. together rather than kind of like... That's quite cool. They're not kind of like on their knees mm. sort of thing. Mm, mm. As they should be. They're just reminiscing. <laughs> yeah. You know. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I will get around to it this week at some point as long as there aren't too many podcasts that come yeah. out that are under two hours. Because yeah. I do mine in size. Yes. Oh, so you do the longest? Yeah, first. last. Oh, last. Longest one's last. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Um, we know Patton Oswalt, obviously, from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Who yeah, it's the only thing I've ever seen him on. Clones? Yeah, yeah, one of them got dead. and the One other of them got survived. dead, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to undermine my... Uh, my ge- it's the only place that I can now be you bad be at grammar. <laughs> on the podcast, mm. how do you even? Um, <laughs> get into this, week. Yeah, he got dead yeah. on uh, <laughs> Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And that's why we know him. He's a really good character. I really like him. Yeah, though. yeah, so do I. Um, speaking of... Shield mm. in the Marvel Universe. Mm. We did say last week that we were going to do an Age of Ultron. We did, yeah. Episode, and it was I going actually, to be full spoilers. I actually got round to seeing it. Yes, so full spoilers. <clears throat> we said so, it last week. Yeah, you've had you've had ample warning. If you're listening to this now and you've not seen it and you don't want us to spoil it because we will spoil the hell out of it. Yes, we will. Um, um, we're covering our backs. Last week we said we we're going to do full spoilers. We are going to call it a spoiler, spoiler cast. cast. And we are now telling you this is a spoiler. And we probably told you in the intro it's a spoiler as well. Yeah, yeah. So if you've so, got like 15 minutes into this and you've not realised... It's your own fault. Yeah. you Stop it now. I'll go and watch the film because it's still in the cinemas. Yes. And it doesn't feel like uh, three hours? <sighs> Nearly. Nearly three hours. It doesn't feel like that at all. No. I don't. I didn't find anyway. No. This is what we'll get into, <laughs> I yeah. suppose. So <laughs> turn off. So Stop yeah. listening to us. <clears throat> stop watching us on YouTube. Yeah. All right. Now, All right. yeah, we're matching t-shirts. It's sad, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so it was, it was all right. Yeah, I gave my opinion last week, didn't I? Mm. I said I enjoyed it. It was great, but it was exactly what we wanted. The, the, it didn't exceed more. my expectations, yeah, yeah. which isn't a terrible thing. No, because my expectations were fairly high. Yeah, even though I tried to pull them back a bit. You can't not have high expectations for the second Avengers film. No, that it, has fifty million cast members in. Yeah, like I said, it was more of the same plus. Mm. So it was yeah. what you want, and no more. Yeah. Oh, and a little bit and more, and a tiny bit couple more, of extra but not, characters. Yeah. If b- briefly. Mm. Um, so, what <clears throat> was your opinion? What is your opinion? Because I didn't read your blog either. Again, I enjoyed it, but I, I, I wonder whether they're like, whether it's feasible to have so many characters in one film and try to give them all enough time. Yes. Oh, Joss Whedon did a really, really good job. Yeah. It, at at balancing the characters and trying to, um, trying to add depth to the ones we already know while also introducing new ones and giving them some kind of depth. But I think it was so... It's such a difficult job that that I don't think anyone else could have done it. I think Joss Whedon's the only person who could have... Yeah. Could have done it. Yeah, he, the thing is, he's quite... he's For his sort of... Uh, capturing everyone, like catering for everyone te- team movie. Mm, yeah. Or team things like uh, he was uh, Buffy he wrote yeah. Buffy so he's kind of done that with lots of characters that kind of had to interweave somehow yeah, and have like their own little arcs in amongst an overarching yeah. story arc. yeah and there is an overarching but it's overarching over f- like films and also TV shows and TV because shows. apparently I haven't seen I don't think it's aired no. here yet it don't, I don't no. think we've got the link, link up like no. we did with Captain America no. but yeah apparently it integrates quite well and apparently there's a big plot hole in Avengers that is uh, covered in Agents, in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Of Shield. Oh, right. I, I don't know what it would be no I can't see it I can't think and I saw the article but of course I didn't look yeah. it up that's, but the thing is like Joss Whedon's not I don't think he's signed on for the Infinity Wars films so that worries me a little bit because yeah. there's going to be even more characters I mean but the cast, over two films so, yeah. mm, so. The, but the cast list for Civil War is already bigger than the cast list for Age of Ultron yeah it's yeah. ludicrous the amount of people well this is where this is where the end of Age of Ultron comes in. Yeah. Where they're in the new Avengers facility. Yeah. Now, oh, other people will be reading it and thinking, oh, it's just their new facility. No, mm. it's I took it it's to mean the, it's the new Avengers yeah, yeah. facility. Yeah. I saw that and I went, oh. Yeah. But it's not like the new Avengers that I've read. It's no. the new Avengers in the, in the film universe, cinematic MCU. universe. Yeah. But before we get there, yes. <clears throat> lots of things happen. This one isn't set predominantly in America for a change no it's not it's was it like two or three years after the New York incident isn't it uh, yeah I believe yeah because it's been about two or three years and since this, the last it, Avengers it film. opens 
with uh, a connection to Agents of Shield. Yes. Like in Agents of Shield, I think they the they, episode before the week it came out in America yeah. was we need to go get the twin. There's twins in in a facility in Sokovia. Sokovia. And then Age of Ultron opens with them in Sokovia going yeah. to get Loki's scepter. Yeah. Now I was um the the computer graphics in that opening sequence there were a couple that were a bit dodgy it's, for me. It, I don't know whether that's because it was 3D filming or I don't know. I I, I imagine you saw it in 2D. Mm-hmm. As did I actually this yeah. time. I didn't go 3D because I can get cheap 2D tickets apparently through work. Oh, there you um go. so I think it's just the Marvel Cinematic Universe aesthetic, I think it's a visual style they're going for. Mm. If you, because it's very similar looking to their posters, it's very yeah, like unrealist. Yeah, it's, vibrant and cartoonish. I think it's a visual style they're going for on purpose. <clears throat> I don't know. Mm. I don't think it's um supposed to look. I think it's uh, done on purpose. Mm. Okay, because um, it is very ragdoll sort of. They're kind of <clears throat> bending in yeah impossible yeah. ways. And uh, it was um it was the bit with Captain America's bike mm. specifically that stood out as a bit like ooh. It's something jarred with me, and I don't know what it's it was. It's the Uncanny Valley. Yeah, I think, yeah, you're it probably right. It looks real, but they're not behaving well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but quite a, quite a, good, fair, quite a it, good opening scene. It was pretty awesome. Yeah, because there's that bit as well where they all, there's a bit where like they're jumping through the air, and it does Which that splash the panel bit. Yeah, yeah, where they're all in a line, but at different depths in the field. Yeah, and you could tell like if it was on a comic book it would be one page it wouldn't be yeah, a double page it's a splash it would be page. one page but they would yeah. be like from bottom to top yeah. in a row mm. yeah it's they definitely capture the comic book it's look. really really good because there's a couple of those there's about three or four of those shots in this film mm. whereas um the first avengers had that one where they were all in the middle of the road kind of back to back yeah and it spun round, which they did emulate in this one they in did. the yeah, yeah. shrine at the end yeah um but yeah it, uh, uh, it's like a typical Avengers opening scene like they're doing it again but yeah. it just makes you like oh yeah, it's so it, good it's not the same but it is the same and yeah. that's not necessarily a bad thing no it, it's like I say it's more of the same plus mm. yeah um, mm. and I think like the the, the, the it's got the humour in there as well um, yes. you've got um, the Baron Baron von like, Strucker is it yeah, yeah where he's like how long do you think you can hold them off and the guy's like it's the Avengers <laughs> yeah yeah like you can't yeah. they're gonna get in it's inevitable <clears throat> don't surrender I'm yeah. about to surrender yes I'm about to surrender <laughs> that, that was funny I kind of got that but then wasn't he doing that on purpose to try and get in with like to set them up for something uh, yeah I think possibly it out, yeah it? I well no because then the twins went missing yeah and the twins being Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch yes though they're never really they never reference they never reference as that it's the, the Maximovs isn't it it's, yeah um, they don't actually give them their, their mutant names no Wanda Wanda and Pietro yeah Maximoff um and I thought the Scarlet Witch is bits were pretty good there's that I bit right her. at the very start yeah. where she's in there and she gets Captain America for the first time yes and then she does that really quick cut backwards walking out of the door it was kind of from a horror film yeah she's very was it Captain America's Iron Man wasn't it no did she get Captain America first yes I can't remember the yeah because Captain remember America biggest... runs up the stairs to confront the Baron right yeah and then she sneaks up and um, confuses him and then he gets knocked down the stairs right yeah yeah mm. so I remember the big the, the big mind takeover she did at first was Captain uh, it was Iron Man she yeah. took over his mind yeah, oh yeah so, yeah sorry that's what I thought you meant no um, the bit where Captain America confronts the Baron Baron yeah. Von Strucker or yeah. whatever I'm um, sure that was his but name. like she the, just the bit where she backed up through the door and the door closes yeah. was like oh, something sorry, yeah, out yeah, yeah, of a, yeah. something out of a horror film yes which yeah, was yeah. quite cool because that was her that was how they were setting her up as yeah, this she's, kind she's of a witch. supernatural mind controly witch thing yeah um, but as an opening scene, it's cool, and more of the Captain America Shield and Thor Hammer stuff. Yeah. Like they actually they on, in the up. first film, it was kind of like they clashed yeah. and they leveled all those trees, but that's because they were fighting each other. Whereas yeah. in this one, they did it on purpose to send a shockwave yeah. like through the armies. And there's a was it Captain America 
fights a tank or somebody. Someone does, yeah. Throws a tank or yeah. something. It's like, what the fuck? And it's not the Hulk. No, it's... <laughs> um, there was a, a pretty cool transformation scene right yeah. after the battle where... Where she does his lullaby. introduce the relationship that's blooming between... Mm. Um, Black Widow and yes. the Hulk. Yeah. Uh, or Bruce Banner, anyway. Yeah. Um, and she kind of strokes his hand and he shrinks. Yeah, it is really cool and it's slightly out of focus mm. as well, which was really good. Mm. It's Yeah, they introduced that. It's a way for him to kind of... And the first time you see that, you're like, there's going to be a point in this film mm. where it's not going to work. Yeah, I thought that as well. As soon as I saw that, I was like, okay, yeah. that's a setup for something that's not going to happen later. <laughs> but, you know, but... Yeah, mm. yeah. That, that's one of the like you were saying. The, the more depth they're adding, to, uh, yeah. More depth to the character. Well, one of them is the whole thing is that um, yeah, uh, Natasha Romanoff has found this person who's equally as damaged as she is, mm. and can't escape from it. Just like she can't escape from whatever is in her past because yes. we still haven't really found out. Not quite. Though there is that flashback mm. thing that she. Yeah. I, um, do you think some like the depth they're adding to char- some of the characters? Do you think it's unnecessary? Mm. It's not needed. Yes, I do. Yeah. We'll get there. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Though I didn't mind that because then when they've because um, yeah because what happens then is Iron Man breaks into the facility. Yes. He wanders around looking for a door. Gets very excited that he's found a secret oh, passageway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please be a secret passage. Please. Be a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so aware of what it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's so aware of the fact it's ridiculous and like there's always a secret passage. Yeah. So they reference the fact that it's, it's stupid. Um, it, and there are a couple of points like that in the script as well. Is, is it, do you think it's like Marvel kind of going, look, yeah, mm. we're ridiculous and you're going to spend your money yeah. on us anyway, even even though we are completely stupid. We know this isn't really that realistic we're not trying to be DC. Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. Him. Please be a secret. Please be a secret. Please be a secret. Yay. Yay. And it's then... just like the bits with him and Hulk later on. He's like, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's sorry. brilliant. Like... <laughs> yeah. Tony Stark, his jokes, it's... Yeah. He's the it's backbone brilliant. And if he does leave, which he will do... Yeah, he's doing one... No, I think Wolverine, s- sorry. That was Hugh Jackman, wasn't it? Yeah. Saying he's doing one more I think Wolverine think Civil film. War is definitely... I don't know. He'll, he'll probably come back for the Infinity Wars, but I don't think he's going to show up anywhere else. No. After that, no. He's... It's a shame. He's one of the... It's weird, because all his things like that, it's one of the best things about the film. Mm-hmm. But is it Robert Downey Jr. kind of coming up with jokes for himself? Kind of well, like, was, like my character more, please. There was one bit in the script that I think they left in that was completely ad-libbed. Oh, really? Um, there was a bit between Hawkeye, him, and Nick Fury. Yeah. Where he says something. In the barn? Or is it y- when they go back to the, the house? In the house. And oh. he says something kind of under his breath, and Samuel L. Jackson reacts and smiles. Oh, okay. And carries on delivering his line, and that. then walks out. I must have missed that. But Shit. it's so under his breath that I think it's something like it's something like oh yeah, you would say that. It's, it's that kind yeah, of like yeah, yeah. snarky yeah. kind of response to something. But yeah, Samuel L. Jackson kind of looks up at him, well, smiles, yeah. delivers his line and walks out. And I don't think it was in the script. Okay. I think Robert Downey Jr. does a lot of that because actually there's very little between Robert Downey Jr.'s new persona yeah. in real life and Tony Stark. He They're has become Tony Stark the or same has Tony person. Stark become Robert Downey Jr.? Exactly. But um, yeah, so he goes down, he gets mind fucked. By and there's Star, one of those big Chitauri. There's a big Leviathan. Leviathan, thing. yeah. Uh, and then she makes him see the downfall of the Avengers. All the Avengers are killed. The Hulk has massive um, yes. arrows sticking out of him. Yeah, Captain America's shield is ripped in two. Say, and he's still alive, though, and he says it's all your fault yeah. or something, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah, and he's looking down at the world where the Chitauri are going to attack. Yes, yeah, he's planet. looking through the portal yeah, from the yeah. Chitauri side. Yeah. It's um, odd as well that given that 
vision mm. saying it's your fault <laughs> um, yeah. what he chooses to do later on yeah it's weird that he's seen that mm. you but know, that he's already there. put that in place because you see because he deploys the Iron Legion yeah which is all the automated suits of armour they yeah. go round and they kind of um, with Jarvis's voice isn't it Slightly. yeah 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 and they kind of um do a bit of peacekeeping with the citizens of yeah that was set up in iron man 3 wasn't it yeah with the automated suits but they hadn't been but given then the they name. all got destroyed and so he's yeah, yeah i suppose yeah, yeah what he's done since then i suppose is is create ones for the avengers as a kind of policing yeah core if it's really like. cool they got the a on them yeah yeah so, they've yeah. got like a uniform like they're a militarized group now. yes because ultimately that's what stark corporation started as yeah. was a weapons manufacturer yeah. weren't they yeah. um which was yeah uh, was it uh, in, in the first iron man you see like his board of directors have been selling mm. weapons, weapons to, to, the, to the foreign five rings yeah without his knowledge so mm. that was kind of set up in the first one and it's it plays in yeah. to Age of Ultron. And that's what I love about it, all, all interlinked. It's set up it's, in the first yeah. Iron Man film back yeah. in 2000... 2007. Yeah, somewhere, six, six or, seven. or seven. I was at uni. And then it's set, and then they, it plays mm. a part in what happens in this film. And it's like, did they have that planned? I think or, well, it's all in the comics, though, isn't it? That's the yeah. thing. It's already yeah, there. Yeah, that's it. So I think it's very easy for them to start you know weaving in elements because if you got them there originally because you're drawing from the comic books yeah. you can bring it back in later on yeah so <clears throat> so he sees that he gets a bit fucked up but they take the scepter back they win yeah they win because they're <laughs> the Avengers battle. they win that battle yeah and Thor doesn't take the scepter back to Asgard straight away no Tony asks if they can study it <clears throat> for I mean to the, work out what Hydra's weapons yeah, what technology are in those yeah, weapons that yeah. yeah yeah they're manufacturing um yeah because he he him and Bruce Banner are going to work together on it aren't yes. they like they're looking into it so 3 days they've got 3 days yeah and um they are trying to Q well first then, montage <laughs> yeah yeah there's a montage there um we don't know whether it takes 3 days or whether it's the same evening because then they yeah. throw a big party and it's yeah. unclear as to whether it's the first night or not. But what they uh, are doing is working on a program called Ultron, yes, which is a suit of armor around the world, like so that it negates the need for the Avengers to be the Avengers. Yes, yeah. it's going to be an automated Avengers thing, which is going to stop all world conflict. Yeah, so Ultron is going to be this program that's inside all of the Iron Legion. Yeah, which gives them. So they don't have to take orders yeah. from Iron Man yeah, to do something. Yeah, it's an autonomous peace, world peacekeeping. Because at the moment, all the Iron Legion seem to do in the first scene was kind of like stand back, citizens, yeah, don't yeah, panic, stand yeah. back. But it's they like... are there. People aggravate them, but they don't fight back. Yes, they are sentries. Yeah, they, yeah, they're a defense. They can yeah. hold people back without <clears> using <throat> force. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so they're working on it, and then they discover something in the gem. Like they discover the program, the technology yeah. is, it thinks. Yeah, it's almost biological. Yeah, it thinks it, it is an artificial intelligence, mm. and then Tony's like, "Aha! Ah, now Although we can I had that, that vision of me destroying <laughs> the Avengers, what I'm gonna do is put this self-thinking AI alien yeah, that's been AI, used to destroy yeah. people <laughs> into my iron suits. Into my iron suits, and Bruce Banner's like, "Are you sure?" And he's like, yeah. Shouldn't we tell everyone else? Nope. No, no. Jarvis will do it while we go downstairs and party. Yeah, leave to Jarvis. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ridiculous. Um, so good. <laughs> and uh, they go down and have a party. And the party scene's quite cool because, again, you've got that thing between um, Natasha and Bruce Banner. Do you not find that she's too much? That like she's she a little on bit too strong. She's a little bit kind of um, film noir femme fatale, isn't she? Yeah, she is, as Jeremy Renner said in an interview, acting like a whore. Did he? <laughs> he said that, and everyone went up in arms about it, calling her a whore. And it's like, no, she that's what she's... She's very... Because she's coming on very strong. She's very, very flirtatious. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't complain. Look, I'm, I wouldn't be as oblivious as Bruce Banner is. <laughs> no. <laughs> Has no I'd idea. be like... Captain America's like, she's coming on to, he's like, really? 
Do you think so? <laughs> nah. She flirts with everyone, but she doesn't offer to sleep with everyone. It, yeah. Which oh, she kind of did. <clears throat> Kinda, yeah. Which might as well have done. But... Uh, yeah, there's a big there's a big thing because obviously Joss Whedon had that spat about the um, yeah. Jurassic World trailer, which is all about oh, like you're a little woman and you should. Well, it's something about um, like he says there's three things. Yeah, they want sex, and they want one of them is fucking. Blah, blah, blah. And... <laughs> and I'm sure you can appreciate one yeah. of them. It's yeah. like. Yeah, that was very... Uh, but then that happened in the party scene and it's like, well... <laughs> yeah, the way she's acting, the way you've written her to behave mm. is... Pretty... Bearing in mind, she's, own, she's but really... But the power in her hands. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. yeah. But I think the whole Jurassic think World she's... thing as well is that <laughs> she's this businesswoman, mm. stuck-up businesswoman, mm. and he's like, you need to lose her. I think mm. that's more of the problem than the... Possibly, I don't know. It depends in the context of the film because actually, I don't mind Black Widow's character as a whole, but she is the, pretty much the only female character in the Marvel universe at the moment. Yeah, and it's a bit. Yeah. Mm. Um, but then, until that point, she hasn't really been sexualized apart from the suit. It does seem kind of out of character. <laughs> um, well, no, no. In the opening scene of uh, Avengers, uh, was it Avengers? Yeah, where she goes to get, where she's being interrogated. She's kind of sexualized True. there as well. But that's to get information from a weak man. Yeah. Do you see where I'm coming from? Yes. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She's, she, she's it's a, using it's that a as an empowering Yeah, whereas thing. actually in this one, she's not using it to to get around something for a greater good. She's yeah. actually using it. She, she's being real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she's being genuine in that yeah. moment. She does want to jump his bones. Yeah, um, which would be weird because mm. his, as we know from the first uh, Ed Norton film, he can't do stuff like that because his heart rate increases and that's it. Although uh, he's controlled it now because hasn't he? because his secret is he's always yeah, angry yeah. and he can just morph into yeah. Hulk when he wants. Mm. Sometimes it happens when he doesn't want to. Yeah, true. But uh, yeah, so. So there's yeah, the that. Scene, the other part in the party scene is that... Oh, is this still the... No, this is the big party scene, isn't yeah, it? Where you've right. got uh, Stan Lee's yeah. cameo with all the army, the World War II vets who mm. are... Which I didn't realise until didn't realize I heard um, Hollywood Babylon this week and uh, Ralph Garman on the spot, he only realised while they were talking about yeah. it, is that actually all those old war veterans would be Steve Rogers' friends. Yeah, Cap's friends. They could even be <laughs> like Howling Command. Yeah, yeah. Because they, they make a reference to Howling Command. Oh no, that might have been Shield. That was in Agents of Shield. Agents of Shield, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it was quite a cool little cameo where yeah. he drinks some of Thor's yeah, one thousand year yeah. old shot, <laughs> and then just Excelsior. yeah, Excelsior. That was great. I, yeah. I understood that. Yeah. Liz didn't get that reference, but I understood that reference. I was like, that's yeah. yeah. Now, did you see the thing online directed by Kevin Smith, the, the Stanley School of no. How to Be an Extra? Absolutely brilliant. Look, look it up on YouTube. Okay. It's the art of being extra. Mm. It's an acting school just to be an extra. And oh, that's really good. Like, man who takes coffee and. Right, oh, okay. Yeah, it's so good. <clears throat> and Kevin Smith's in it, but he directed it as well. Um, mm. Yeah, so there was that scene. Now, that was before the part where they're all sitting around on their own celebrating Yeah, because that's the after the after the main party. I, I got the impression that that's all the, the, all yeah. the Avengers that's and the all the other party. people... Yeah, yeah. So I everyone's left and now the, they're sat around. All the normos have left. Yeah. Leaving only the Avengers and their assorted close friends like the Eagle. Oh, no, the Eagle. Falcon had even gone, hadn't he? Cause yeah, he, yeah, he wasn't He turned up for five seconds because... Uh, no, was he still... He was at the party, yeah. wasn't he? Was he still there? No, I don't think he was still there for that one. No. But yeah, so... They'd Rhodes all, was. They'd all left. And yeah, so they were all sat around. It's the hammer scene yeah. that they released which like, is a brilliant. year and a half ago, which is fantastic. <laughs> the subtlety, the subtle expression on Chris Hemsworth's <laughs> face is just... When, that is just brilliant When acting. Captain America nudges, and it, it moves kind of, very slightly and Thor like, oh. just... <laughs> But that's brilliant, and that sets up for something later on, yeah, which is yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it, yeah, the subtle expressions on his face, and people are that's just luck. That, yeah. You know, and there's, uh, and then he's like, so you can see the relief flush over him when he can't yeah. move it anymore. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <sighs> yeah. That's amazing. Um, that's when, and this is when Ultron comes in because between this bit, you've had an interaction between Ultron and Jarvis. Of course. 
um, where they are big balls of light in a room so that you talking. can kind of... But it works. Yeah, yeah, it does. It's yeah. so weird. Because you need that there for the count- for the for people to understand that they're talking to each other. Yeah. Like, you need a physical presence and they kind on of the screen. they pulse slightly when yeah. they're talking. Yeah. Like... Um, which sounds really stupid, but actually works. Really well. Um, and Ultron is kind of coming too. Yeah. And Jarvis oh, is trying what, to what introduce. What, what, am I seeing? what is my mission? Yeah. <laughs> oh, who? Who's that? Oh, <laughs> what? Where are they? Who's on the third? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit. Yeah, he's waking up a bit groggy. Yeah, and Jarvis is like, "Hello." Yeah. I am Jarvis. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> and he's trying to kind of guide him to the right material that he should be looking for, but mm. then Ultron discovers the internet and war. Yeah. And realizes that he's there to stop mankind from ripping itself apart. So yeah, and he sees the big problem <clears throat> is the Avengers, mm. doesn't he? He doesn't see it yeah. as mankind itself. He sees mankind's a problem. Yeah, but ultimately the Avengers are his first problem to yeah, deal with because and they're the mightiest heroes. Get rid of them, and then you, you can't have. Is it sort of like you can't have someone with like this power? Mm. Like that's unfair. Then the human race doesn't stand a chance, a fair chance. Yeah. If you've got people over, like an Overwatch sort of thing, um, so eradicate the Avengers, and then you've got left with the humans to sort themselves out. Mm-hmm. Give them a chance to sort themselves out, and then go after them. And then go after them. If they don't, <laughs> because people, you know, fuck up a lot. And... So, yeah, in that interaction between the two balls of light, uh, Ultron discovers he's more powerful. And Jarvis will only try and stop him, so he kills Jarvis. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and just like, oh, okay. Oh, so Jarvis is dead. Yeah. Uh, and then yeah, so during the party scene, they've done the hammer bit, which is funny. Yes. Uh, and it all kind of gets a little bit serious then, because Ultron emerges in the kind of wrecked form of the of Iron Legion, bits it... of Iron Legion yeah. armor. Um, yeah, because Tony Stark's like iron manuf- uh, her suit manufacturing is all totally automated yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. Like while they're all working and partying upstairs through the glass floor, you can see like loads of just Being robots repaired, repairing or, yeah. the, the suits of armor. And then you get that the scene which you've seen in the trailer mm. uh, of like Ultron walking up the stairs, kind of. Mm. And he oh. they did keep in the Pinocchio lines. Yeah, but not quite as much. No, as thank was in Christ. The trailer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they I was were there. About that. They were there. Um, yeah, and he kind of threatens them a little bit. He says that you're not worthy. They, None of you're worthy. Do they fight him in that moment? They do. Yeah, because he tries to well they actually destroy Thor, the armor as well. Yeah, don't they? Thor throws his hammer through him. Yeah. Um, but then he's taken over some of the Iron Legion suits. Yes. And they attack. And they grab the scepter and escape. Don't yes. they? At that point. Yeah. Yeah. After a bit of a fight, one of them, one of them the gets and away, and yeah. then they kill the rest. But then you find out in that moment that Ultron can go from machine to machine. Yeah. Yeah. Like he's not tied to one machine. Yeah. Ultron isn't one robot. It's a consciousness thing. Yeah. It's like a Borg hive mind. And Tony Stark's obviously got his own private satellite with internet access, so yeah. Ultron can <laughs> jump up and then come back yeah, down yeah. to somewhere else, anywhere in the world. Yeah. And that's how exactly else what is he, he going to transfer his consciousness yeah. to somewhere else? And he goes back to Sokovia. Yes. Where there is a nice little suit there that you saw in the bit where Tony Stark goes down into the. Uh, Oh, was into there? the basement it was there the Ultron suit was in there oh was it already there oh, yes. I didn't see that yeah. I thought he just created it no no it was lying in a box and its eyes were lit up oh okay yeah maybe I did see that camera focuses on it for about a second oh, okay because I just assumed that he could make those suits yeah he made those suits out of scraps because later he does because I'm thinking like he's got an incredible incredible manufacturing process going on <laughs> that's Ultron because he's intense. coming up with iron suits like <laughs> no, that one died that's um, oh, alright I've got another one. Oh, have you yeah and one of them was in the basement of yeah. that facility I don't know where all the other hundreds <laughs> come from but um, but yeah so then what happened um, no, he went to Sokovia and then something else happened between oh right yeah um because hawkeye was shot yes yes he was yes the facility and then they introduced the korean scientist who can manufacture skin yes using using some the cradle i don't think they say what material she's using at that point no no or do they 
I can't remember. Because it's vibranium, isn't it? No, his skin isn't vibranium, yeah, is yeah. it? Yeah, vibranium's oh, got... That's what the whole point is, vibranium. That's why they went to South Africa. South Africa? No, it was another made-up place, Wakanda, wasn't it? Yeah. Where um, Black Panther's from. Yeah, they, they went to get the vibranium because it can because it's such a material that it can be used synthetic purposes oh, right. oh, I'm, I'm sure that. it was like she's <laughs> found a way to use it to rebuild skin that's what i took yeah because i know it. that the vision is eventually made out of vibranium which is what they used yeah which is the cradle that they used to repair yeah Hawkeye. i suppose so but she's yeah. got the big okay. cradle that does the whole body in her lab elsewhere yes, yeah so yes they, they repair him using vibranium yes because that's the whole point ultron says is they've got this material and all they've, they've been using it is to make like patch repair jobs or thing i think it's something like that you said mm. so yeah right. they, they use, that's where they set that up that she's doing the skin yeah. grafting yeah so he buggers off with the scepter to build an army of robots yes but there's also this thing in the background um before he goes to find her yeah um the the twins find him in the middle of the city why wouldn't they and pledge their allegiance to him yeah they tell him a sob story about the fact that they were um, about like their family was killed by uh, shells yeah. and one landed in their room they were hiding under their bed and it had Stark Industries written on the side which and is for, what we were saying about earlier where the yeah. setup in Iron Man 1 where his yeah. arms Weapons have been sold yeah, without his knowledge and yeah. obviously that's what happened so now so. the twins have got this and they've got powers so Ultron is like oh, I can use these two to fight against them yeah yeah, they got their powers. It was set up that they volunteered for experiments. Yeah, from for this a Hydra Baron, what we keep calling Baron von oh, Strucker. It is, it is Baron Wolfgang von Strucker. Yeah, it is right there. Sorry, mm. I was like, I'm sure that's from somewhere else. Mm. No, it was this. Yeah, so they volunteered for this program to have powers. Mm. I wear. The, I think they are angry Russians. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're fairly convincing. They weren't too bad. They're fairly convincing. Yeah. She was. Uh, was she better than him? I think so. <laughs> Aaron Taylor Johnson. Or is it just because she's better looking? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe. Uh, but uh, yeah, so he recruits them. Then the Avengers go to Africa yeah. to find out where he's getting the source of the... Because they work out that he's after vibranium. Yes. And Wakanda is a very rich state in the Marvel It's the only universe. place. It's that's... the only place where um, vibranium occurs naturally, naturally yeah. and that's why it's so rich this particular part of Africa yeah vibranium is Captain America's shield yeah that's it that's it they say because Ultron <laughs> says they've got all of this is one of the we're, we're Ultron <laughs> he says they've got this they don't know the power of it they, they've got this great material and all they've been using it is to make frisbees yeah. <laughs> it's like genius um, but that was the thing about Ultron when he becomes Ultron, yeah, is I wasn't expecting him to be as human. No, he was very human. He, in his he, actions, he, he was very. Um, I don't want to use the word mince, but he did. Yeah, he was a bit. He swung his theatrical. hips quite a bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he was very. Yeah. And I still don't understand why he had lips. Well, if you, th- because that, well, no, because that wasn't vibranium. That suit was it? No. Because I was going to say, if it the was vibranium... The first generation of Ultron was, wasn't it, he? Even if the first one was vibranium, it would make sense because if you can use it to synthesize yeah. skin, then that would make yeah, sense but that the he first Ultron But the first one, I don't think, was. Wasn't, as far as I'm aware. I can't Unless we missed order. something. <laughs> Unless they, he went to get the vibranium before... I don't no, think no, it was. No, he was in that big suit yeah, when he went yeah, to get the vibranium. Yeah, yeah. It's confusing. I don't know. Yeah, it, Marvel. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. But, um, yeah, so they go to uh, to Africa, to Wakanda. Yes. To find out who's been selling the vibranium yes. to Ultron. Um, they get there a bit too late because Andy Serkis's character. Yes. Whose name escapes me. Ulysses Claw. Yeah, Claw. Claw. I think it's Claw, pronounced Claw. I've heard yeah. other people say it, yeah. Um, who is a bad guy in the Black Panther mythos. Yes. Um, has been supplying it. Ultron rips his arm off. Yes, which is part of, of the claw, Ulysses' claw. Yeah. He's got a He's hook. got, a, he's got some sort of mechanical arm. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, we don't know. 
No. We haven't read that far. I don't know Black Panther. No, so he's already... And Andy Serkis, who you discover, is actually a good actor. Oh, he's a great actor. Himself. That's the thing, he's yeah. He's not just a um, creature actor. If you've ever watched Sex and Drugs and Rock and Roll, which mm. is the Ian Jury right. biopic, he's amazing. Yeah. I've seen him in other things as well, and he's much better than you would imagine. Yeah, he's he's right. a good actor. Yeah. But yeah, so they get there. It's is nice to see Trump's his actual face. still there? Uh, he's hiding up. isn't he yeah because they turn there. up just afterwards with the twins yeah yeah and then you get and you finally get to see Quicksilver do his thing properly yeah I mean you do see it in the forest in the opening scene like he's running past yeah. and tapping people on the shoulders or whatever yeah. he's doing um, <laughs> but, but you get to see it slowed down in this yes and it's done quite well it's mm. done better in X-Men unfortunately this is what I've heard I still yeah. haven't seen that film it but, is yeah. so good yeah. it is like he, the Quicksilver in that is really good so yeah you get that and then Scarlet Witch comes into her own she sort of controls she... most people's minds yeah. in that one um, uh, what else happens there's something else funny before that uh, well you get this bit with Ultron showing his humour again yeah where, like, oh, yeah, oh, what are it. your plans? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked me that because I was going to... I was just, just about to explain my evil plan. <laughs> yeah, and then it takes them out. The great sort of James Bond monologuing. Yeah. Like, take the piss out of that. Um, and, uh, yeah, Hawkeye's coming into his own again because she goes to mind, fuck him, and then he turns around and sticks S- an arrow to her head. Stabs an arrow into her head. No, nope, yeah, I've been it, done with it. <laughs> yeah, I've had the mind control before. I don't want it again. Um because Thor thinks he's immune as well, doesn't he? He's yeah. like, they're trying to control our minds, but yeah. and then, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think a human mind will be able to um, keep it out. And then all of a sudden... And then the he... camera pans around and he's in some <laughs> place in Asgard. Yeah. Like, there's baths and... <coughs> and yeah, uh, it's... Yeah, kind of all over the shop. <laughs> yeah, that's it's where so it started busy. to like... That's where I started to be like, oh my God, there's far too much going on here. Because what happens is that every single character has some sort of weird hallucination. Yes. And it goes a bit trippy. Mm. And you're not used to that in a Marvel film. Trippiness doesn't really come into it. No, it's... Yeah, there's a lot going on. There's a lot to keep track of. I never felt completely overwhelmed, but then there was the danger that you could. Yeah. That it's kind of walking a very thin line. Like you said earlier, I think Joss Whedon is the only guy that could have done it and not completely lost you. Yeah. At no point throughout the film was like, but what about... what That just... Who... who? Mm. There was none of this confusion. I, I managed to keep up with it. Yeah, I think, though, for people that don't read the comics or don't know things that, as, or yeah. don't know, or don't keep up to date with everything that's going on in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, like I read a lot about what's coming up. I know yes. a lot about what's, you know, this, that, and the other. You know what they're setting uh, up for. The general cinema audience, because I don't know whether Joe followed it exactly. Oh, okay. Because she doesn't keep up with any of it. No, I mean, Liz doesn't. She really enjoyed it. She doesn't keep up with it. She doesn't know what's coming. Mm. But Joe she, she, enjoyed it. Yeah, oh yeah. <clears throat> but I don't know whether there was a little bit too much in there yeah. in places. For... Liz is completely sold on comic book things, though. She will... Mm. She's, she's sold on it. She's into it. She, she Like I so say, she doesn't know what's coming up, but she's picking up on little things. Yeah. Like we say, the end credits scene mid credits yeah. mid credits scene like she picked up on that and she's like oh and mm. then I kind of explained what it was mm. and kind of hinting like oh in... that's got sorry no 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 because that's going to give away we're not quite at that point <laughs> yet um, and they end up controlling the Hulk's mind which is where the Hulk buster yes. fight comes into it and like you were saying a few weeks ago that uh, one of the guys over at Weekly Geek Speak was saying it was a big plot spoiler because actually they're saying that she's controlling the Hulk. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah in one of the uh, clips they released. Um, yeah, he... Uh, hang on, where were we? Because he was Bruce Banner. He was told to stay on the jet. Yeah. Um, and then Quicksilver obviously somehow gave her whiplash and rushed her over to the jet. <laughs> yeah, without breaking I don't breaking know how he can do... I don't know how he can... <laughs> unless he holds her head as he runs. I guess. Um, but he takes her over. Or they go over to the jet and then she gets Bruce Banner's mind and then obviously he gets a bit agitated or it turns into the Hulk yeah and then then... he's in South Africa in fact that um, bit the the big building yes. that they start off in front of not the one they destroy yeah yeah the... but the one that they're standing it on top of they go out Iron Man goes after him and yes. confronts him on that plane and there's a big cylindrical building uh-huh. that's where they filmed a bit of Chappie oh really yeah <laughs> oh wow that's cool it's the exact same building that all the oh, gangsters wow. that's live a bit in. weird 
like it and only a couple Through of months you. ago yeah um but yeah that was that was strange but that scene the hulkbuster scene because he calls down the hulkbuster doesn't veronica. he in space yeah i don't, I don't understand the i haven't gone in to read I about haven't veronica looked, yeah. but yeah so he calls down veronica who is the hulkbuster armor yeah and that fight is just a brilliant fight it's great i don't care that i'd seen it before yeah, because it that's, was brilliant. That's where the bit when I was earlier saying about Iron Man saying sorry, 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 sorry. Because well, this is Hulk it. Rips off the arm. Yeah. Then he gets a new arm which has like a a piston. Yeah. Isn't it? So yeah. he kind of holds it, holding Hulk. And on the basically, floor. all he's doing is trying to put the Hulk to sleep, isn't he? Yeah. So by knocking him repeatedly out. Repeatedly punching him in the face with the piston arm, and just saying <laughs> sorry just every time. A pneumatic piston. Yeah. That's hitting him. Just sorry, sorry, <laughs> just sorry, go sorry, sorry. Sleep, go to sleep. 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 And was it after that bit sorry. when the Hulk gets up and he's like, sorry, because it's like the Hulk stops him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. And there's a bit where he actually knocks the Hulk's, one of the Hulk's teeth out. Yeah. And he kind of spits it out and then looks really angry and he's just like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's just amazing, that bit. Oh, um, so there's fun. also a bit where they're in the sky. He's trying to drop the Hulk from a height. Yeah. Um, but he's not letting go and he's ripping bits out of the armor yeah, yeah so yeah. he decides to bury him under a under oh, a building him down through the building like, side, yeah. jarvis how quickly can we can we buy this building yeah. <laughs> it's so good and then just implodes a building on top of him and that's, that's so eventually in the uh when the hulk climbs out and then sees the destruction he's caused and the fear on people's faces yes. that's when he calms down yeah that knocks him out of it yeah yeah that pulls him back to earth uh we're gonna have to rush through the end aren't we mm. um so there was that part so they've got the vibranium what else what else happened well Oof. then um then they all retreat because th- because of the destruction they've caused they're a bit kind of on the on the fringes again yes so they have to go and hide at this is where some of the backstory a comes safe in. safe house. Is it necessary? And we find out that Hawkeye has a secret family stashed in the countryside somewhere. <laughs> yeah, he's actually he's got, a farm hand. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he owns a farm. His wife's there with two kids and a third one on the way. Yeah. And she totally digs his uh, avenging. <laughs> yeah, totally. I totally support your avenging. Yeah. <laughs> um, and she I basically... I like his backstory. Yeah, I don't mind it. It's a bit kind of indulgent i think basically what it was i heard a a couple of years ago that jeremy renner was a bit pissed off with the fact that the hawkeye character wasn't going exactly where he thought it or was led to believe it was going to go and i think that this is joss whedon's way of saying oh no hawkeye's a great character yeah although he's not super he's the level-headed one that keeps everyone in check and like you don't see that in the first film at all he's a knob in the first film because yeah. he gets taken over yeah. by loki yeah have you, of it. have you seen uh, the video where jeremy renner as hawkeye i think he was as hawkeye went on to, i think sings the song yeah yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah he sings the the, the Ed Sheeran song but it's kind of with lyrics that relate yeah. it's, that's really it was good. really funny and he does take the piss out of himself yeah jeremy renner knows his character's yeah. not yeah important not overly <laughs> important because there's a bit right at the end where he delivers a line where he's like we're on in the middle oh, yeah, of a yeah. city that's floating above the ground there are hundreds of robots outside and i have a bow and arrow none of this makes sense <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> again it's another marvel kind of like it's ridiculous yeah, but it's know. fun i mean we probably have to skip to there don't um we? No, what, no, well, no, 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 there? no 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 because because ultron then goes to south korea good point um and that's probably a big point we need to cover. yes and finds the doctor who has the cradle that can create a synthetic we can skin. repair a whole body rather than just a patch. Yeah. Of skin. So what he is eventually, what he wants to do is make himself an android out of vibranium, yes. so he's completely indestructible. Yes. And a little bit more, a little bit less confined by his metal form. Yes. And does he? And he tries to upload his consciousness into it, but they're. Um, but he also interrupted. smashes the thing from Loki's poker That's stick. right, yeah. The gem in the scepter actually holds one of the infinity gems. Yeah, and then he places that in there because that's what has the whole consciousness. That's right, it's, yeah. it's the physical consciousness yeah. of Ultron rather than just the code. Yeah. It's the actual consciousness, so he places that in there as well. <clears throat> yeah, but then they're but, interrupted... But, 
yeah has to go i think <laughs> by the looks of the machine builds the person from head to toe yeah because there's always a progress bar of like this part's <laughs> yeah. blue that part's still red <laughs> So, yeah, they're yeah. kind of doing it, and then they're interrupted. So, he has to unplug it, and then he has to go and get it on a truck, and then plug it in on the truck because yeah. the truck's got power source. Yeah, yeah. Power it as well, mm. and all the equipment. All the needed while they're being chased it. by the Avengers. Yeah. And then you get a little bit more progress <laughs> yeah. um, on the body. And that's, that's a pretty cool set piece, that whole f- chase through the city. Yeah, that was fun. Where Quicksilver's getting people out of the way. With the train. Uh, yeah, Scarlet Witch is train. trying to lock the train up. Yeah, because the train gets derailed, doesn't it? Yeah, because um, all of a sudden the twins realise that the Avengers maybe aren't so bad and that Ultron is mental because Scarlet Witch reads the mind of the thing yes, in the box. Yes, that's it, yes. Because it's actually physical and yeah, has so skin. Because she, she can read Ultron's mind. She can't mind. read Ultron's mind. Yeah, that's it. But because this is an android cyborg, whatever, she yeah. can read. It's got a... There's a lot going on in this yeah, film. Yeah, we yeah. There's a lot going on in this film. It's yeah, one of those part things where you when you're talking about it there's lots of oh yeah and this. Oh, yeah. but because of that. Yeah. So sorry if you're having trouble keeping up, but, but you should have seen it. You've probably already seen it if you're listening to this. If you haven't seen it, you're in Egypt. Yeah. Um, um so yeah, so she sees the big de- big deal, so they decide to actually help the Avengers out eventually. Yes. Um and then Black Widow manages to break out the cradle with the thing in it. Hawkeye catches it in the back of her. Yes. <laughs> How does she... What, what happened? Oh, because there's two of the Legion. Two of the Legion, the Ultron, things, the Ultron they, drones. They get the, the truck. They lift up the truck's trailer. So they fly in the truck and then she gets on there while Ultron's distracted by Scarlet Witch yeah. and Quicksilver. Yeah. Yeah, or something. And... Uh, Captain America. Yeah, and then she basically drops it out of this truck because mm-hmm. the back door's open, and then Hawkeye catches it in one of the jets. Yeah, and flies off with it. But Ultron captures the Black Widow and escapes. Yeah, he does. Fucking shit. Yeah, she got captured, didn't she? Mm. Yeah, so he flies off with her. Yes. <clears throat> uh, this leads back to the Avengers Mansion. The Adventure Tower. Adventure, yes. Adventure Tower? Adventure. <laughs> Adventure Time Tower. Yeah, the Adventure um, Tower, the old Stark Tower. Yeah. Whereas at the end of Adventures, you saw it with just the A, and I'm like, yeah. oh, I know what that's going to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and Robert Downey Jr., I'm oh, sorry, Tony Stark yeah. and Bruce Banner decide to reenact their mistake yeah. from earlier on in the film. Yeah, using this new the thing new that's thing. still got the same consciousness, but... <laughs> He, Tony Stark, is this where he's already discovered? Yes. Yeah. Because he was... Oh, that's right, because Jarvis to, has come back. Something because... was stopping Ultron getting the nuclear codes. That's so right. So he went to this place to discover... <laughs> he went to somewhere, mm-hmm. the internet, in, represented somewhere by a room. Somewhere in Luxembourg. Yeah, it was the internet. I think it's just a big sort of data centre. Yeah. He went in there to find out what was stopping Ultron getting and through. it turns out... And it turns it... out, because he goes back and then he says, yeah... About destroying it, we're not going to do that. We're going to yeah. cr- create the proper something. Yeah. What I intended to create before, and then Bridge Banner's like, "What the fuck? No, I'm not helping you do yeah. it." And he's like, "No, I'm because, helping you do it." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have discovered a thing that is stopping Ultron. Was Jarvis? Mm. He's managed to break himself down into little pieces yeah, and upload himself of into of the code. cloud. Yeah, this uh, data center, and it's been stopping Ultron from getting uh, nuclear yeah. missile codes. Uh, yeah, so they were going to put that Jarvis in Into, with the consciousness yeah. to control the consciousness so that, yeah so that it doesn't go rogue they know that Jarvis or is... he was going to integrate them together like meld yeah. them kind of get the good parts of Jarvis yeah. and the bad parts of where yeah and some, he knew how to do it anyway yeah somehow. and just before they go to do it everyone comes in Captain America Thor no not no, Thor Thor's not there um, yet. Quicksilver some people come in and they go, no, fuck off. Stop doing what you were doing earlier on. And then they're like, you've got to stop it. No, I'm not going to stop it. You've got to stop it. No, I'm not going to stop it. And Quicksilver's like, fuck it. And he runs around, <laughs> unplugs all the cables. Yeah. And, and then, then gets shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then Thor, but he only shot, not like completely in. No. And then Thor, Through the floor. who has been away rediscovering his vision in this pool. Oh, yeah. Via something. Eric Selvig. Yeah. He's been in the waters of mysticism. Yeah, and, and then he's gone back. Sees he missed... all of the Infinity Stones getting... Yeah, he's missed something in his yeah. vision from earlier. So he goes to relive it and then he kind of comes in and then he's just like, raw with his hammer. And then uses the electricity from nature. Nature to power 
in a very Frankenstein kind of way. It was awesome yeah, to yeah. power the machine and speed up the process of building this person, <clears throat> this <throat> thing that comes out and it just I mean, goes we, a bit we've ape seen shit. him, which is a shame. Yeah, yeah, it was a shame that they actually... Yeah, he goes a bit apeshit and starts fighting everyone, doesn't he? Yeah. And then he kind of floats up to the window. Sees his reflection and is like, oh. Yeah, and then apologises. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> Sorry. And then, and then apes, changes the way he looks. Yeah. And then he because, looks at Thor and he's like, I like the cape. <laughs> cape. <laughs> yeah, and then just grows a cape. Grows a cape. Um, he's a big red man. Yeah, the vision. The vision. Tony Stark's vision. Tony Stark's vision. And I like how his voice, obviously it's Paul Bettany, isn't it? Mm. Who's the voice of, of Jarvis. Jarvis. And then, oh, by the way, he's not just a great voiceover artist. He's a good actor. So yeah. we're going to use him for the vision as well. Yeah. Paul Bettany should be in more films, personally. And now he's got this, which is probably one of the greatest yeah. characters that's yeah. going to be in Because he's, he's now indestructible. He's insanely and a cool. a sentient machine that is has unlimited power because of the gem in his head yeah how 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 do marvel do this like i know with um guardians of the galaxy it's a bit odd you've got the tree person you've got the... that's mm. in space that is fantasy anyway yeah, yeah avengers is somewhat steeped in where it's on earth realism yeah you've got like tony stark who's got lots of money and shit like there's some <laughs> i mean hulk's a bit far-fetched yeah and they've never explained hulk <laughs> Not really. in the avengers no. thing only in i, I mean was the the Hulk, the, the Incredible, Incredible Hulk, Hulk was is that the part of radiation. the same? It's universe? technically canon because they do reference the fight in um, oh, Manhattan okay. in the first Avengers film. They showed bits of the Incredible Hulk film. Oh, okay, yeah, in yeah. the newsreels. And then Thor is a god, so you can kind of work. But this vision is just totally it's straight up sci-fi. Yeah, but weirdness. It, you accept it. Mm. And it's cool. And he's really cool. And uh, yeah, he he does that whole kind of spiel of like, I don't know whether I'm good or bad, but yeah. I know that Ultron has to be stopped. So yes. if you're thinking about stopping him, then, then I'll help you. I'll work yeah. with you. And then he just hands Thor his hammer. And it's like... <laughs> that's, oh. But doesn't understand the, ignif- the significance of it. Yeah. Everyone's like dumbfounded yeah, we couldn't do that <laughs> because we're not worthy enough you can do it thor takes the hammer off him and is like right let's go <laughs> yeah and it's kind of like well because they're not sure whether to trust him or not and well, then that moment like oh well if he's worthy to carry the hammer <clears throat> he's totally then he must be all right trustworthy yeah yeah and it just it was brilliant it was so good they've just skirted around the issue of how are they going to get like everyone to trust him oh there he can go. pick up thor's hammer with no problems sorted yeah uh, and awesome. then they go and then it's the last 40 minutes is this whole thing where like they go back to <laughs> Sokovia yeah. um, and Ultron has placed this massive core of vibranium through the city yeah. and installed huge thrusters underneath the city. To... Again, Ultron's manufacturing process Basically is what it is, because he couldn't get hold of... of simple missiles yeah what he did was build this massive structure underneath the city in eastern europe he could have probably built his own nuclear missiles what he could have done is flown into space grabbed an actual meteor yeah and just thrown thrown it it at the earth (laughs) yeah (laughs) but But... no he decides to create his own meteor by lifting a city into the stratosphere (laughs) and then turning the thrusters around and dropping it on the earth (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Which is ludicrous, but you go with it. But it makes up for At a one really point, good scene. When it was cracking out of the ground and rising into the air, yeah. Joe turned around to me and was like, do you think that's symbolic? And I was like, what are you talking about? And she said, it's kind of in the shape of the United States. Oh, was it? I didn't see it. I didn't notice that. <clears throat> it was something to look at. Though. Mm. Mm. She saw it. And she's quite good because she, she often doesn't listen to what's yeah. going on she likes to visualize it she's very visual so like often she'll need to watch a film twice yeah the first time she takes it in visually yeah and the second time she'll listen to the script <laughs> okay it's really weird really quite strange but then she'll spot things that <clears throat> no one else will exactly that was kind of good. so that was fine it warrants a set i think it warrants a second viewing i did want to go and watch it again before so did i today. so did i but <laughs> i didn't get the chance no. um but yeah, so that's by the by. Um, he's lifting this massive thing into the air. What I quite liked about this um, was that the Avengers were there as like the UN. 
yeah. while it was all going on, while they were trying to get to Ultron before he lifted the city out of the ground because yeah. they didn't know that was going to happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were trying to evacuate the city before they yeah. conf- confronted him and they were just like, it was just get out, go, yeah. go, go. And Red Scarlet Witch did her mind control which made everyone want to get out of the city. Yeah. yeah she and was, then they were cool. kind yeah, of yeah. controlling traffic and stuff. Yeah, it was really <laughs> Captain cool. America became the ultimate traffic cop. Yeah. Already more humane than Superman. <clears throat> yeah. Um, <coughs> So and actually, when it was lifted up into the air, there were still more people were ju- like dropping off the side. Buildings were collapsing, yes. but they were all trying to save them. Yeah, they were like flying down. If they were dropped off the over the edge, they yeah. were flying down, grabbing them, and then taking them back up. Uh, that was a bit strange. <laughs> Instead of taking them down, yeah. they took them up. Yeah, uh, yeah that's you know. Yeah, that was a bit of an odd choice, actually. I didn't really think of that. But are but then they safer I suppose... up there or are they exactly. safer on the ground when yeah. the meteor hits or yeah. the country, the city hits? Well, um, their whole plan focused around keeping that thing safe. Yeah, they were so... going to bring it because the thing is it was as it went up, mm. when it got to a certain height, the engines were going to flip yeah. and drive it into the ground yeah. faster than gravity would take it down. Yeah. What they were going to try and do was sort it so the thrusters didn't flip they stayed the right way round yeah. and then just lowered the power so it gradually settled back that, into place yeah. that was the idea that was the idea um, it because, went a bit wrong as we know from creating the vision and whatnot and the personalities Tony Stark and mm. Bruce Banner mm. can quite easily understand technology they've never used before yeah and really quickly do something with technology it. that's made by an advanced robot yeah yeah they understand they, they've got some mm. <laughs> level of knowledge that they can just oh i know how this works we'll just change that yeah um yeah so that's flying up in the city and then scarlet witch has a moment where she's kind of like i can't do this yeah and then and then you hawkeye get the, gives that speech <laughs> hawkeye's like I, i'm gonna go out there because it's my job i'm yeah. terrified you know i've got a bow and arrow <laughs> so if you want to be an avenger you need to come out and yeah. help. But if you don't come out of that door, or if you do come it's out fine. of that door, you're an Avenger, but you don't have to. Yeah, but it's fine if you want to stay here yeah. and hide. But if you want to be an Avenger, come and give us a hand. And yeah. she does. Yeah. Um, and then there's a moment where they're quicks. running, or where he runs off and the nail fly off or something, and he's kind of like just <laughs> running. <laughs> yeah, why can they all fly? It was pretty much Hawkeye's film. He was fantastic. He was I really good. enjoyed him. The back story I didn't like that I was telling you about was Black Widow mm. with her sterilization. Was that necessary? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, she can't have kids. She so was sterilized. She's that was the end the of her training as a her family. That was the end of her training as, as an, an assassin. assassin. She needed to be sterilized so she doesn't get <laughs> that attachment with people mm. where she was young she was like yeah that's fine but now she's older she wants yeah, a family but she can't but she can't so that's why she's as much of a monster as the Hulk apparently because yeah. sterilisation turns you into a monster <laughs> um, yeah so uh, what happens after that well then there's the massive fight, the fight in, the church, in the church which is brilliant <laughs> yeah the church but was too quick I think there were too many quick cuts but then how else do you do it yes um, there yeah. was a brilliant brilliant again the revolving circuit, the shot revolving around everyone <clears> as, like, as they're all doing their Scarlet thing. Witch is doing the because it's magic. kind of it's the halfway house between the new Avengers and the old Avengers as well because they weren't all there it was um, Vision Iron Man Thor was Vision? yes Vision was there wasn't Scarlet it? Witch yes Quicksilver oh, was he in there I think he was in Possibly, there. and maybe Hawkeye. Well, I think I can't all of remember. them were in there at that were they? point. Yeah, maybe. Do, doing the initial defence, and then some of them went off, and then Scarlet Witch was left in there with, on her own with Quicksil... No. No, Captain someone else. One of them. Yeah. One of the... It was Scarlet Witch and one of the older Avengers. Yeah. And they were left in there to defend it because they yeah. got because as they were in there and it was like all of Ultron's army just fucking coming at them from all angles and it was a big it was like this middle thing it was like a I don't know what they're called like one of those dome buildings with mm. like pillars so like the open basilica yeah it was like a basilica wasn't yeah. it and so you've got the opening so they're all coming in so they're all kind of guarding this it's the, the main key the thing that makes the main the key the thing that makes work. it turn, flip over is right there in the middle quite yeah. easily accessible by yeah. anyone yeah uh, not hidden away so they've got to look for it it's right there so they were all defending that and is that when you get the awesome moment where Ultron comes in then you get yes. Thor Thor the Thor, Vision Iron Man and, and the Vision just like blasting him. him 
Yeah, because Vision basically that's a double uses page the yeah, that's a double page. Splash. That that looked awesome. Yeah, that was a goosebumps moment. Yeah, like Thor's really just was. pointing his hammer. Yeah, um, and blasting with lightning. Iron, Iron Man's, Man's using the repulsor in, rays. The repulsors and his chest. Yeah, at the same and time. And Vision's think. using the the beam from his from stone the crystal. Thing. Yeah, yeah. And that makes an awesome noise as well. That one. Mm. So yeah, that was really cool. But he can also put his hand right through things, yeah. and rip out the heart of stuff. It was, yeah, I think uh, it was I great. heard him described as Marvel's Martian Manhunter. Yeah, because he is, I suppose. So, oh, but yeah, yeah. So that was awesome. Mm. Um, then Nick Fury comes to the rescue with, with a, a helicarrier carrier. that he's managed to get out of mothballs from some friend of his because <laughs> yeah. apparently Shield have reinducted him. There was one hidden. Yeah. <laughs> There's uh, a very minimal crew. Yeah, because he's not really S.H.I.E.L.D., is he, anymore? Because no. S.H.I.E.L.D. is something else now. There was him, Maria Hill, mm. one of the pilots from the original yeah. Carrier. Yeah. and yeah. The guy who was playing Gattaca. Yeah, yeah, yes, that was him, wasn't it? Yeah. There's like four or five of them on the bridge, and that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then they launch some life rafts. Because there's life rafts on a helicarrier, yeah. helicarrier apparently. Um, and they manage to get all the people of... Um, Sokovia yeah out into the life rafts except one little boy oh of course it's always a little boy that fucks it up and for Jeremy Renner uh, Hawkeye had to go back out and save him and then Ultron is, is flying a plane <laughs> with like, a massive ra- yeah. um, Gatling gun on the front yeah firing and I genuinely thought that was it for Hawkeye yeah because I I Joss Whedon can't not kill someone. He has to. Yeah, it's what he does. Yeah. And I genuinely thought that was it. I thought we're going to get all this backstory, all this family stuff to make his death even more hard-hitting. Yeah, that makes sense. That's what I genuinely thought yeah, was yeah, going to yeah. happen. But no. Quick was going, no. <laughs> <laughs> Quicksilver comes in, takes all the bullets. Yes. And so dies. Today, he dies. Mm. And I wasn't sure if he was actually dead. No. But apparently but he he's is. he was peppered with bullets. Yeah, apparently he's totally dead. And that was always the plan. Every single draft of it, they they had he died. Right. Well, I suppose uh, there it was makes... one to throw people off where he mm. survived, and they even filmed the end scene with him alive. Really? To throw people off, they were never going to use it. But apparently they filmed it, and they did have one out there, a script version of the script. But he was always going to die, mm. so he's dead. Yeah. Plus, you've got but a much I, better representation I was gonna, of him in X-Men. Yeah, I was going to say exactly yeah. that. Like, um, There would be no point carrying on with another no. Quicksilver who is up against a another Quicksilver in another franchise. Do you think, <clears throat> however... <clears throat> I've just come up... I've just, yeah, yeah. It's one of those moments. Do you think they said he was always going to die? Yeah. Do you think there w- he wasn't? And like the X Men, if you remember, the X Men mm. originally was going to have Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Yeah. Avengers. Was oh, do you have reckon Scarlet there was Witch a and deal? Quick- and there was a trade off. Yeah. Like maybe. you don't use Scarlet Witch, we'll kill off Quicksilver. Yeah, maybe. So they've each got one of them. Mm. Perhaps. Yeah. You might be right. I think it could, that may be something <clears throat> to do with it. But they're not yeah. allowed to talk about it. No. So, yeah, um, he dies. So he dies. And but then they take his body. Yeah. And then that's virtually oh. the end of the film. Well, you've got the bit where they have to blow up yeah. the big meteor. Well, they, they, they yeah, because they basically they leave Scarlet Witch there. Scarlet Witch, yeah, and Iron Man. Um, Iron Man and Thor. He was on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah because Thor has to use his hammer once yeah. more, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but Scarlet Witch's whole thing when she sees Quicksilver has died. Goes, Did she see him die? Well, she the twins, or they she, she might she have felt, felt him it. die because yeah. they're twins. And she went ape shit and destroyed everything in a kind of House of M it's, style. Yeah, she walked out down those steps. It's that scene yeah. you've seen them filming and yeah. all that. She walks down the steps and just collapses onto the ground. It's just like... <laughs> just a huge explosion. And all of the Ultron drones get ripped to pieces. Yeah. But no one else. So, no, no, it's no. destructive in one particular place. She can place. concentrate it. Yeah, yeah unlike she House of M. matter, does she? Uh, it's never really entirely explained her yeah. power. Yeah, <clears throat> never. Even in the comics. No, but in House of M, she goes mental and wipes, just wipes concentrates all of it the, on the mutants. Yeah, she wipes. So she can do it just on one thing. Yeah. She, even if she's losing control, like she's going to destroy all the Ultron drones, but not yeah. the Avengers or buildings or people or, people. <laughs> or helicarriers. <laughs> so she destroys everything that is. Connected to Ultron, basically. Mm. She concentrates her power there. Yeah, she feels that. Did she get some, why does, how did she get away? Uh, Iron Man or Thor fly. 
But yes, good point. Yeah, because what ends up happening is Iron Man's on the bottom, ripping it to shreds and trying yeah, to do and then something. has to repulse because it slips, up doesn't it? The big shaft of vibranium, and then Thor has to hammer it as he does it, so it meets in the middle and explodes. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's some, it, it's, it meets in the middle and explodes. It explodes. <laughs> the force of Iron Man and Thor. Yeah, sends a shockwave through <laughs> it, and then all of the parts land in the water. Yes, it's a <laughs> massive shower of boulders and stone, rather yeah. than a big meteor. It's a city. Yeah. It's a country. Yeah. Oh, I, it's a small. It's a small town. Yeah, and then it explodes and it lands mm. in the water. Because why not? Um, and that's pretty much pretty pretty much the end. And then, like I said earlier, you get the new Avengers facility. Yeah, right afterwards, they move the Avengers facility out of New York because why would well? But do they? It's still going to be Stark Tower. You've got the Avengers Tower, which is for the Avengers, mm. and now you've got the new Avengers facility. They're two different groups, mm. aren't they? Yeah. Well, you can yes. still have the Avengers I mean, the, the thing and is, the new Avengers. Obviously, what's coming? Yes, you're right. So, because Captain America is in charge of the new Avengers facility, and Tony which Stark. includes the new Avengers, which are War Machine, Scarlet Witch, Falcon, Scarlet Witch, and Black Widow is Black there with Widow him training them. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure, there was another. There one. was more. Vision. Vision. Yeah, good point. Yeah, Vision. <laughs> and then Tony Stark's gone. <coughs> has gone away. We don't know who. Yeah, he's, he's gone got. away. The Hulk's gone because away. Because the Hulk oh. has disappeared. Because you've got gets... that awesome scene. Yeah, yeah. Where uh, Ultron is flying away in that jet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for God's sake! <laughs> and then Hulk jumps into it, and you don't see, you see Hulk jump into the back, and you're looking out of the docking doors, and then you just hear, "Oh, for God's sake!" <laughs> it's Ultron, and you're like, "That's so good." Yeah. Yeah, and he throws him out the back, and then he flies off. Never to be in the seen jet, just sitting again, looking out the yeah. front window of the jet, <laughs> looking sad. Yeah, um, yeah, breaks contact with everyone, which yeah. yes, upsets. because Black Widow tries to contact yeah, him and yeah. he's watching it and then he just closes the screen. Yeah. Um, and then Ultron ends up by a lakeside, yes, and the vision comes down to see him and they have a, a, they quite have a, a conversation, yeah, because actually vision is half Ultron, isn't so it? So he understands where so Ultron's coming from, but, but he can put it into. <clears throat> He can he can filter it through Jarvis, yes, yeah, and be like, actually, even humans' flaws are quite beautiful. Yeah, they're beautiful. And they should be able to, you know, make mistakes. Yeah, learn from their own mistakes. They're both like, yeah, you know. And then he just fucking <coughs> beams I see what you mean, and then just destroys Ultron. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it was a short-lived Ultron. Mm. He was good. I liked the fact that he had Tony Stark as his personality because he was created by Tony Stark. Yeah, yeah, it's understandable. I didn't realise that was the way they were going because none of the trailers really gave him a personality other than homicidal. Yeah, and it was really good. I yeah. like the way they kind of but humanized again, him. in the long line of Marvel villains, he's another one that's just like, oh, that was easily dispatched. Yeah, another one that he's... doesn't live up to Katie Hopkins. <laughs> <laughs> the only decent villain they've managed to produce so far is Loki yes and he was supposed to be in this was he he was going to be they did write scenes with him but mm. one too many another characters. character yeah but um, again yeah the, the the final kind of battle looked amazing but yeah I just don't know whether he was dispatched of too quickly they could have used him the, the, the good thing about Ultron is they still can Mm. I suppose he could have disappeared into the internet somewhere just hi in hiding they can yeah. still use him yeah if they need to <clears throat> like they do with all comics characters are never really never dead never really dead unless you see them. well not even if you see them buried sometimes no. I mean if you look at even I know Deadpool's kind of outside the realm mm. of all the he kills everyone yeah <laughs> <laughs> he rips them apart yeah and this is my point I had a bit of a conversation with Paul from yeah, down in the southwest. Yeah, uh, the other day, um, where he wasn't, he's not looking forward to Deadpool film, um, and I basically, I, what I was saying is like the cast list is getting so big now that surely, like, it might exhaust a lot of people. Yeah, because um, already there's about five more people going to be in Civil War than there were in this one. Yeah. Um, and I kind of said, you know, how 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 far do you go before too much of a good thing becomes too much of a good thing? Yeah. And people start getting a bit bored of it. 
the way they should finish it is get Deadpool in to kill everyone. But he's not with Marvel. <laughs> I know, but Fox, they should. They should. But they're bringing in Spider Man. Yeah, exactly. Civil War, so. But I, I just think that the best way Marvel could end this whole thing once people Deadpool start dropping off is come in and bring Deadpool in to kill everything. Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe. It'd they be make brilliant. that. Yeah. yeah. That would be good. It, it's like I, I did say last week, I can see. I'm still enjoying it, but mm. I can see how it's going to be an oversaturation of Marvel. I just wonder. If Not there just is comic a... book films. Comic book films, yes, this oversaturation, yeah, are, like huge because of now DC doing the same sort of thing. Yeah, but I just think Marvel. I can see how it's going to be yeah. too much. And I wonder if there's even a plan for after the Infinity Wars. There doesn't need to be. No, they should just think. finish. I yeah. think with the Infinity Wars films because they can't get bigger or better. But if they're still making more money, well, of course they're going to. Yeah, they yeah, keep yeah going? exactly. They might slow down a bit, maybe. Mm. They'll just reboot everything. They'll start again from zero. Oh, God. <laughs> But hey, they'll have made so much money by that point that they'll buy all the franchises yeah. back and start again. Because can you imagine if they had mutants, if they had the Fantastic Four, you, if oh, they had all those MCU, characters, they'd still X-Men. have to. They they'd have all those characters on top of all these characters. Yeah, it's one of the because films like they could do it as a TV series because films they're only Two three three half, hours at the three most. Hours, yeah. And you've got to get a lot of story and a lot of characters in those three hours. Whereas with like a TV series, they can make 40, 13, 12, 13, 45 like minute episodes. Exactly. Which uses a hell of a lot less characters. Yeah, and yeah. I still haven't finished. I hope he turns up in Civil War as well. Mm. Doesn't have to do anything. Doesn't have to have a big character. Just just, just, be just in the background. See whose side he's on. Yeah, it would be quite nice to see Luke Cage and Iron Fist. Because they're they different. Quite easily they are do different it. characters. Oh, they are? Yeah, Luke Cage is Power Man. Iron Fist is... Yeah, is the martial arts guy. Yeah, I think Luke Cage <coughs> is in the New Avengers book that I yeah. lent you, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. He yeah. Um Yeah. It would just be nice to see those characters as well. And but they can, because I think it The lines problem is then that I'm asking for the thing that I'm people. a bit dubious about. <laughs> they do, they, the thing is I think the T V series do line up with I don't know if they line up with Civil War actually, do they at all? Mm. No. I don't no, really well. know if I'm honest with you. <clears throat> the time scales of things but hey let's just enjoy it while it's there and mm. while it's still good yeah but like I say Infinity War should be where it cuts off yeah, but it won't Infinity be Infinity Wars 2 uh, how are they doing that? like some people think they're kind of going to do the number one is when they sort of introduce Guardians into the mm. Avengers world mm. or that world and then number two is the breakout yeah because I wondered whether the Hulk was going to bugger off into space because in Hulk the comics in he does go yeah. uh, to the the planet Hulk, yeah, where there are other Hulk beings is and stuff bit, like that. Is that a bit and that would be the films. way that they would be able to introduce him into the Guardians of the Galaxy canon. That's bringing mad. them into. That's mad. <clears throat> but he hasn't. I don't think. There's no they Hulk found, film or anything. They found where he crashed down or landed. They, think, the, they said it could be him. Yeah. Yeah, they're not sure. They said it could be him. It's yeah, <clears throat> maybe it'd be Hulk, Island Hulk. Mm, it's I somewhere I read like a headline saying the Grey Hulk was going to be in this as well. Really? Yeah. I didn't read See, it. See, Thunderbolt a Ross is coming back for um, Civil War, the general from yeah. the Incredible Hulk. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. And he is Red Hulk. He is, isn't he? interesting <clears throat> man that's crazy <laughs> yeah but uh the post mid credit scene yes was you excited about it as was i as, yeah um yeah did you see it and go oh it was uh, rather than <clears throat> really I, I i got it you knew what it you yeah. said you had an idea of who yeah. it was anyway because the thing is in thor's little bit where he goes back to see what he missed he saw all the five infinity stones right yeah and then at the end, you see Thanos putting on the gauntlet. He said, fine, <clears throat> I'll do it myself. Do it myself. <clears throat> yeah, I was like, oh. But and but then as I was walking out, I heard a guy go, oh, so we sat through five or ten minutes for a guy to say, I'll do it myself. A guy? <laughs> yeah. No, but this is the thing as well. A guy this putting is, on the Infinity Gauntlet. This was my point with too many characters and not enough explanation. And if you haven't seen them all, you won't know, mm. is that... I heard quite a few people refer to the Vision as the red guy, even though he was... Because they, they never call called him, him the vision, vision, but they kept they saying, said, oh, vision. he's my vision, oh, yeah. your vision, uh, yeah. this, that, and the other. Um, they also said, oh, that purple guy at the end. 
<laughs> who was that purple guy at the end? But if they, yeah, because they might have only seen Avengers. If you've not seen, but he's in the Avengers. He's at the end of the Avengers, but at the very end, yeah. of the Avengers, and he's also in Guardians of the Galaxy. He's and also that's in about it. Thor. Because Loki goes to see yes, him. Yes, but do you actually see him? Because he's no, you got only his see back, back of his chair. Yeah, yeah. You see the back Does of his Does he turn throne. around? I think he turns around. At the end. Mm. Again, it's, uh, yeah, it's... Yeah. Like I said... He's uh, only referenced by name in Guardians of the Galaxy, mm, isn't he? Mm. Yes. And obviously that, that in itself is going to draw in Guardians of the Galaxy on their own because obviously there's the connection. With Thanos, yeah. And at least it actually say she knew him from Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm. Like, oh, she might have said Thor. No, I think she said Guardians of the mm. Galaxy. But she knew who he was. Yeah. She didn't know what the gauntlet was, but I said, oh, remember they said about the stones and on the the glove there's five yeah. spots. And she said, oh, yeah, that is. Which would mean that he'd have to kill the Vision to get the stone out of the Vision's head. But between now and then, a lot's going to have to happen because you've got yes. Ant-Man and Black Panther and Captain Marvel. Where are the and... other Infinity Stones at the minute? The um, ones we've seen. Well. What, is one in the Tesseract? The Tesseract is one. That is it eth- actually one or is yeah, it in... it is one, okay. I think. And that's in Asgard, as is the Aether from Thor Which 2. is the red one. Yeah. You've got the Vision's got one in his head. Yeah. Which I don't is from think the Loki we've Pokey seen stick. the other two, have we? Yeah, the one in Guardians <coughs> of the Galaxy that was in the orb. Oh, yeah. Where's that now? Oh, that's with Nova Prime. Yes. And we haven't found the fifth one yet. Which is... Where's that going to come from? Who have we got? I the Inhumans... Can... Inhumans or Black Panther, maybe. Maybe it's in Wakanda. Yeah, Ant Man won't have one. I would doubt it. Don't know. Because that's knows? too soon, isn't it? Mm, Civil yeah. War doesn't need one because it's not about the same thing. Yeah. So it could, yeah. It won't be Guardians 2. Is there a Guardians 2? Yeah. There, there is a Guardians is, yeah. 2. So it's, yeah. Don't know. I'm going to bet on this, the Inhumans. Mm. I reckon it's inside. <coughs> one of the what do they call them the things that turn the people that turn sky this is a agents of shield if you haven't oh, seen you um, understand. yeah the maybe in one of them columny things ob- ob- obelisks. obelisks yeah maybe i think it might be in one of those <clears throat> yeah perhaps because agents of shield is quickly turning into the inhumans oh yeah yeah. yeah i think in america they have referenced the inhumans now and oh, i right. was reading a description <clears throat> The, de- the actual description, the synopsis of one of the episodes did reference the Inhumans, oh, even right. though it hadn't in the programme itself. Because um, I haven't watched this week's one. I haven't. But I'm up to date, up to this week. Yeah, I haven't watched this week's. Where I'm... Sky's gone to the... Yes, I've seen that one. Heaven thing. Place. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that one. Mm. It's all right. It's good. Yeah. I'm still enjoying it. Yeah. I'm liking it more now it's coming <clears throat> to the Now it's started to yeah. get into kind of actual superhero type things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bas- basically Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is setting up the Inhumans because there's a lot of story to explain the Inhumans. Yeah, yeah. but I it's imagine. basically, it kind of, it, it makes me feel like it's their way of getting around the X-Men thing as well because it's kind of mutated people. Yeah. Yeah, because the way they're doing it is you've got the Inhumans who are naturals. They're the yeah. elders, Yeah, I yeah, imagine. Yeah, that's what I reckon. And the experiments that Hydra have been doing are creating the mutants. Yeah, like, so, that, like um, the twins. Because Sky was created and the guy has said, has said like thousands of years of evolution are happening in one go, yeah. which is what the, the mutants Mutation. are. Yeah, it's the yeah. human, it's natural the human X-G, evolution, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah, yeah. 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 Good point. I hadn't, yeah, yeah, I hadn't thought of it like that. Anywho, wow, how was it? So overall, overall, Age of I, I really enjoyed it, but I'm worried that it's getting too big, yes, and too unwieldy for. I mean, even Joss Whedon kind of like it wasn't perfect. Yeah, um, it, it's a weird feeling to have because it lived up to your expectations, oh, yeah, which yeah, should totally. be a good thing. Yeah, but for some reason, there's something about because it. it only lived up to your expectations. Whereas every other film has either disappointed slightly or it <clears throat> exceeded your expectations. Yeah. yeah, and I think it's because had this been the first Avengers movie, we'd have our heads would have exploded. Yes, it would have been amazing. But yeah, yeah. we've had the Avengers, and this we've is just a it. little bit extra, yeah. but not enough to blow your mind because how far 
how how much further can you go? And you have to improve with every film. <clears throat> yeah. And they are, but they're not improving by a lot. Giant so leaps. Just, just enough. Mm. Because if they improve by a lot, then next time they'd have to improve by the Even same amount. Even more, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it makes life difficult. I'm more. looking forward to seeing Captain America and Iron Man going toe-to-toe in Civil War, but I know we've got a couple of years until that. Mm. Um, and people's heads are going to explode on that because like Liz doesn't know that's yeah. coming I know that's coming so I'm looking forward to it <laughs> she doesn't know it's coming so it's going to surprise her yeah I think I'm going to hide that plot point from Joe yeah and you could see Tony Stark turning into an arsehole in yeah because he, see it, he basically wasn't consulting anyone he was going ahead with it without consulting anyone even Bruce Banner didn't want to go ahead with the experiments really he was made to but he forced him into it because he's quite persuasive and very charming yeah like um, he says in it, he puts up all the money. Yeah, uh, I just design things. I'm not the yeah. leader, that's more Cap's thing. I just design things, make people look cooler. So you can see the points of contention yeah. starting to build, and I was really enjoying that. Yeah, and they're quite subtle as well, because yes. you don't realise that they're little digs until no. you start thinking about the bigger Unless picture. Unless you know about what's coming, yeah. yeah. So, um, I mean, the name Civil War should give it away, yeah. but people don't think no. like that, do they? No. It's a... Uh, because yeah. they're going to bring Crossbones in as the villain. Who's Crossbones? I don't he think is. Know. He's a villain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, from the Marvel canon, he's not like a super villain. No. Um, but he is the Shield agent who got all fucked up at the end of um, Winter Soldier. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Something Grillo. Right. I think I know which one <clears throat> you mean. He was quite a big part in. Yeah, he was one of the main. Hydra shield agents yeah, yeah, who yeah. went after Captain America he was the one who faced off against the Falcon yes. and then the building came down on top yep. of him but he survived yeah right okay because cool because he's superhumanly altered in right. some way yeah he's like a Bane character that's what his character looks like oh really um, in the Marvel mythology yeah um um yeah, yeah. So that oh okay yeah <clears throat> he's basically an assassin. He's got spider suit on. He does yeah, strange. So is it like a symbiote? Um. Oh, he's part of the Thunderbolts. That's where Thunderbolt Ross is going to come in. That's how it's going to go down. Oh, Jesus right. Christ! Right. Okay, I hadn't put two and two together. There. Right. <laughs> right. Tom just <clears throat> excited himself. I think. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. There's no other. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. There he is. Him. Yeah. And that's the actor from yeah. Captain America. Cool. That's that's yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be Thunderbolt Ross is going to come in and he's going to have a group of people. Jesus. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. That's and that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm a little bit scared mm. of how big it's getting. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of worrying, but you know, if Joss uh, maybe overseeing it as like a producer, maybe for most of them, it'll be cool. Yeah, I'm going to read a bit more about the Thunderbolts, I think. Cool. Because we've been going on for way longer than we should have been. Everyone but, hey, put out two hour episodes this yeah. week, and we're one and almost there. Yeah. One and one and forty minutes. Maybe. We apologise, but it's a spoiler cast. It's different. Yeah, it's not a. We it's spoke not about a the whole standard. film. We, we had did. We, we gave you fifteen minutes of regular anywhere but here yeah, material at well, the beginning. What, <laughs> what else do you need? Um, um, yeah. So let us know how you how you felt about the age of ultron if you've seen it join in what did we miss maybe email us just in case people on our twitter or facebook feeds haven't, haven't seen, seen the it. film yeah uh, you can email us obviously like we said at the beginning abhpod at gmail.com yes uh just let us know what you felt how you feel about things going forward we don't really want the marvel dc debate because everyone's doing it and we are staunchly marvelite so we are here, marvel unfortunately well, no, or fortunately. no, fortunately for us, because yeah. we enjoy it. Yeah. Um, how about the whole MCU with uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and all that other stuff? You know, the fact that it's intertwining, we're going to get the yeah. Inhumans. Let us know what you think. Please do. So for this ultra special spoiler cast of Anywhere But Here. This Ultron special spoiler <laughs> cast. Oh. I have been Tom. I've been Ant. Bye. Bye.